Oh, kids and mothers, Chief of Hybis. So Celtic have beaten Astana and have qualified for the playoff round of the Champions League. They're also guaranteed European football. So say if it doesn't work out for them, they will go straight into the Europa League. But we've seen off the Kazakhstanian team by two goals to one at Parkhead. I thought it was a great performance for Celtic. were more dominant in this game than the away leg, obviously. They're more defensive. I thought they just completely dominated. And Astana offered nothing apart from the goal, which was a mistake by Craig Gordon, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. But yeah, so Scott Brown had an effort which went over the bar in the 21st minute. Lee Gripper had an effort which just went wide. Stuart Arthur had an effort which was saved. Then just for a stroke of half time, like in the first half, Celtic were totally dominating. The only thing that really was of mention was Patrick Roberts, unfortunately, excuse me, got injured. As we take an eye, he was placed by Stefan Johansson. But Johansson had a good game. He came on for Roberts. And just for half time, Celtic did get a penalty. Kieran Tierney blatantly wiped out by the defender inside the penalty box. It's clear as day it was a spot kick. And Lee Griffiths, the king of approach that he has stepped up and fired it into the bottom corner. It was 1 0 to the Scottish champions. The 46th minute, Celtic came out and they nearly scored again. Griffiths had an effort which just went wide. Then there was another effort where Astana had to scramble the ball away. Tierney and McGregor worked together. And the latter nearly got on the end of it. But then, a big blow for Celtic. Ball whipped down the hump, up the pitch. Craig Gordon came out, didn't know what he was doing. Unlike Gordon, to be honest. He came out, headed the ball away, but it came out to... The Astra player and he hit it. Seamless Scott Brown tried to tackle him, he hit it and it looped over Gordon and over Tierney on the line and it was 1 1. And that was Astana's only shot of the game, to be honest. They didn't do anything after that. Then uh, but even after they scored, Celtic was still a more powerful side, they were still dominating. Tierney had an effort which was pushed away, Forrest had an effort which just went over the bar. Astana and an effort which just went wide. McGregor and an effort which was saved. Come to people, a goalkeeper. Griffiths and an effort which deflected off the defender and was pushed away for a corner. And it looked like it was going to be frustrating for Celtic and it looked like it was going to go to extra time. And we moved into the 90th minute. Moose Dembele came on and him and Griffiths combined and the young Frenchman got a penalty. It was a penalty, just got away from the defender and the defender stuck his leg out and Dembele went over. And. The referee pointed to the spot for the second time. And Dembele stepped up and scored. Also, Astana, the guy who committed the penalty, was sent off along with another player. So, Astana finished the game with nine men. But, yeah, last minute of the game, Dembele scored the penalty. And that ended up winning Celtic the match. And the tie, 3-2 on aggregate. And yeah, it was a fingers great performance from Celtic. I thought defensively were more solid without Effie Ambrose in the team. Colo Torre came on, I thought he looked alright. Obviously, he hasn't played much football since leaving Liverpool at the end of last season. I thought Connor was alright. The, the only person who made a mistake was Gordon with the goal. But I thought he had an okay game. Far that. He's a good goalkeeper, just, I saw that blame for the goal, it was just an uncharacteristic mistake that he went for and it didn't work. And yeah, hopefully we can get an easy draw. I'd like to play Applewell and Nicosia or Dunkirk, the Irish team that beat Bay Bosney off. I'd like to, fa I'd fancy them, I don't want to play Legia Warsaw, I'm not sure if they got through. Or any other team which could be a threat, like Pilsen. As well, they're quite dangerous. They seem to qualify for Champions League quite a lot. Victoria Pilsen. But yeah, I have to wait and see the draw is on Friday. And hopefully, Brendan Rodgers can get some signs in before the next Champions League qualifier. Maybe Scott Sinclair, hopefully. We'll have to wait and see. Next up for Celtic is the first league game against Hearts at Tiger Castle on Sunday. Which we should win. First game of the season. But... Tonight, I was really, really happy that we managed to see off Astana and we're guaranteed European football regardless. But hopefully, Brendan Rodgers can get us into the Champions League. Because bar the blip against Lincoln Red Imps, we actually have played well every game that we played, in my opinion. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching and listening, guys. I was just a quick review on the Celtic 
Astana match at Parkhead. The Hoops winning and going through to the final playoff round. But until next time, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And peace out and hell hell.